Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this uh, text effect of text in letters. So stay tuned. And if you learn anything in this video tutorial, press that like button, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. So let's get to it. For this type of design, I'm going to actually start off with a, another design. So I'm going to go into custom and I'm going to create a design that is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. And so here is my design here. Now I'm going to place a text box on my workspace. And I'm going to start by typing some text in here. And for the text, I'm going to um, use a font called DM Sans. And for the size, I'm going to leave it like that for now, um, but just create my text. So, and this is just random text. This is where I wish it had actually like a microphone where I could actually just say words and translate it into text instead of me typing. But maybe that'll be the next thing Canva will uh, create. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. The, the size, I'll make that just a tad bit smaller. I'm going to make it... Mm, maybe 32 right now. I'm going to left justify this and I'm going to make a couple of copies. So I'm going to make a copy and I'm just going to paste a whole bunch of that in the design here. And I'll just make that a little sm smaller. And maybe I'll add one more line like that. All right, so I think I'll leave that at like that right now. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna go to my elements and I'm gonna grab a box and I'm gonna place this box right behind my text. I'm just gonna fill the whole area like that. And I'm gonna make this box a lighter shade of gray like this. And I'm going to add a little bit of grunge. So maybe I'll add this right here. And I'll make this grunge white. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab that text box. I'm going to go to position and layers, and I'm going to bring it to the top. And now I'm going to download this as a PNG. You can also download it as a JPEG. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to use this to create my text in the next part of this video. So I'm going to download that. And I'm now going to go to my Canva homepage and I'm going to create another uh, design. It's going to be the size of a YouTube thumbnail. So this is my space here. And I'm now going to go to elements and I'm going to be using some letter frames. So, and the word that I want to spell is text. So I'm going to one by one just find the letter frames. And because I already have a T, I'm just going to make a duplicate of T and I'm going to place it here. Now, if you want to tidy up your designs, all you have to do or your elements that are on the page, all you have to do is just grab them all press the three uh, dots at the top and you can just go to tidy up 
and that will tidy up everything and space everything evenly for you. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller like this. And I'm going to grab the handle here just to make it a little bit taller like that. And I'll bring that down a little bit more like that. All right. So now it's time to bring that uh, text PNG that we created in the previous step. So I'm going to go on over to uh, my downloads arrow at the top of my Chrome browser and I'll find my my first the first file that's going to be the file that we downloaded but you can also go to uploads and you can find that file in your downloads folder and bring it in I'm going to grab it and just slide it right in like that it'll take a few minutes just to upload into the Canva system but once I have it I'm going to make another three copies and I'm just going to grab all those copies. And I'm just going to move them to the side here. And one by one, I'm going to just pop them right into my letter frames. And just like pictures, we can take these images that are inside our letter frames and we can just um, double click and expand them. We can double click and we can rotate them. We can double click again and just turn them the other way like this. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so we don't see that space up there. And here is a, another one. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to rotate it all the way. I guess the other way because I've already used um, that other um, direction. So here it is. Here is a um, different type of effect where we're placing text inside of letters. And that's about it. If you learned anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in joining my private live sessions, click the join button next to my channel name. If you're on mobile and you don't see the join button, then just go to my description. You'll find a link to join my YouTube channel membership in there. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye. And if there's anything else that you want to see, leave it in the comments. All right. For now, I'm going to say bye bye until next time. Bye now.